Does your Tacoma need a software update? Here's how to check. That's right. Does your truck need a software update? And how do you check it? You know, if you don't get one of those automated little messages that comes across the screen, I've had that before. Actually, I had an update maybe about a week ago or something like that. When I first started the truck, it flashed across the screen that an, a software update was available. So I went ahead and did the install. I think it took all of about, I don't know, maybe three minutes, five minutes tops. Very simple to do. But what happens if you don't get the software update available message? Well, there is a way you can go in and check yourself. And then you can go ahead and force it to update, I guess, when you want to do it. As opposed to when it happens to pop up on the screen and you have to make that decision. Should I go ahead and do it? I know I got to get out in a few minutes. Well, what if it's not done? Okay, we're out in the truck. I actually, I have it running. You don't have to. You could just have it... Uh on accessory mode so that you have it powered and you can get the screen to come up. Um, we have a little bit of a glare there. Let's do that. Oh, that didn't make any difference. All right, well, I'll try to shield you guys from the glare as much as I can. There we go. I think that's probably better. All right, first thing you want to do is be on the main menu screen, which is where we're at. You guys can see there. Then you want to go to setup. And now you want to scroll down. Let's see, until you get to software update. So go ahead and hit that. And then down here at the bottom, you've got just some info and stuff. You can go ahead and click check for update. It says confirming if new software is available. There you go, it says the current software is up to date. It is not necessary to update. And that's all you really need to do now. While we're in here, you can go ahead and check your history, see if uh, there's anything in there. As you can see in mine, it's interesting, it doesn't show any detail. Uh, but as I mentioned, I did actually do the update a few days ago, so I'm not sure why there's nothing in there. Let's check out uh, software update setting while we're here. Uh, automatic check. So, if you want it to check automatically, and I'm assuming that happens every time you turn the, the vehicle on, then you can go ahead and do that, or you could go ahead and switch that off, and then it would only check when you go out and do what we just did um, to make it check. So again, real quick, because this doesn't take very uh, long to do at all, you want to have the menu selected, the first menu, and then you want to go to Setup, and then scroll down. There you go, to Software Update, and check for Update. And then it'll go through the motions there to check and see if there is. And again, you can see on mine, there is nothing there. So pretty simple to do. Um, again, I just had it done or had it come up on my screen. And honestly, it happened while I was in the middle of something. I think I was actually shooting a video or something and I wanted to uh, turn the radio off. But before I could do that, I either had to accept or cancel out of the update. Um, I did go ahead and accept had I known I could do it this way, I probably would have just canceled out, done what I wanted to do, and then come back later um, to go ahead and do that update. But live and learn, I didn't realize. So why would you even want to do the update, you know? A lot of times you hear with updates, you know, like on the iPhone and stuff like that, that when you do the updates, it can cause problems, and then you have other issues. I don't think that's really so much true with, uh, with the Tacoma radio, but... Still, something to keep in mind. The reasons to do it, uh, it fixes glitches. If you're having glitches with your radio, if something isn't working right, um, chances are that software update is going to fix it, particularly if it's a well-known common problem and many other people are experiencing the same things. Uh, it updates phone, or it updates uh, radio functionality, rather. Uh, sometimes it adds apps. Unfortunately, and this happened not too long ago with a Toyota update, uh, it actually happened to me. I think it was in the Tundra. It actually removed uh, an app. It was a pretty popular app. I can't remember which one it was off the top of my head, but it actually removed the app, and a lot of people weren't happy about that. So keep in mind, that can happen too. Lastly, um, it updates your radio for new phones. You know, if a new phone comes out, for instance, like the iPhone Max, which I have now, 
a lot of people were complaining and this happened to me a while back in my Tundra Crew Max. I got a new cell phone and the, the software for the radio wasn't updated to recognize or work with that new phone. So you're going to constantly get updates to the software in the system because it needs to be able to connect to the latest and greatest phone that comes out. Now I will say when I got the iPhone 11 uh, I didn't have any issues. Um, I didn't have any issues even before the update, although again, I know some people did because I, I read lots of people complaining about their new phone uh, not working with their truck. So beware that uh, if you're not keeping up with the updates on your phone, um, or on your radio rather, and you get a new phone, uh, that might be why. And if you just go out and do what I showed you there, um, it will update the system. Now, real quick before I go, there is another method to do this with an older radio. This truck, of course, is a 2020, so I have the latest and greatest radio in it, at least for what Toyota offers. But if you have an older radio, the steps are hit the apps button from the, home, from the main screen, uh, hit setup, hit general, and then scroll to software update, and then click update if you can. Now, at the bottom of the screen on that radio, you're going to see two areas. Um, one is going to see or say detail, and the other is going to say update software. If those are grayed out and you cannot select them, it means you already have the latest uh, software upgrade that you can do. So, just something to be aware of. If you have an older truck, I think it's maybe 2017 and back, something like that, uh, then you want to go ahead and uh, and just check um, the bottom of the screen there to see if those are lit up or grayed out. Again, if they're grayed out, uh, you cannot do, or there is not, uh, a more recent update available. You're as updated as you can be, or updated as you can be. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know. I'm curious if you ever had any troubles with your, uh, your radio or your software in your truck, and then you did the upgrade and, uh, and it solved it. I'd be curious to know if it really works. I know it works with the phones. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.